a very good afternoon to all of all of my seniors and respected jury members my topic of presentation is medical termination of pregnancy amendment act 2021 as we all know that mtp act medical termination of pregnancy act uh, was passed or we can say that was formed in 1971 on 10th of august 1971 so in uh, this act this act legalized the abortion done by registered medical practitioner under certain conditions and uh, under certain uh, guidelines it was said that uh, it can be done in government authorized institution only in mtp act 1971 uh, one medi registered medical practitioner was allowed to do the abortion till 12 weeks of pregnancy and from 12 weeks to 20 weeks the uh, advice of two registered medical practitioners should be there so in view of expanding the in view of expanding the uh, uh, bill uh, uh, bill was passed into the uh, lok sabha on 2 of march 2022 it was approved in lok sabha on 17 of march 2022 20 and it was approved on in rajya sabha on 17th of march 2021 as we all know that when a bill is passed from both houses of the parliament and is signed by the president of india it is formed as act so presidential approval was given on 25th of march 2021 and now it is been called as mtp amendment act 2021 what are the objectives or what are the uh, uh, new things it has been increased the upper limit of legal abortion to 24 weeks for up to 20 weeks uh, 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 up to 20 weeks uh, only or one uh, advice of one registered medical practitioner is required and from 20 to 24 weeks the advice of or the involvement of two registered medical practitioner should be there so it increased the upper limit of legal abortion to 24 weeks for the special category of women involving victim of incest rape survivors minor girl or differently able girl in case of pregnancy that has been substantial fetal abnormality it aim to expand women's access to safe and legal abortion services on therapeutic eugenic social and humanitarian ground for abortion beyond the 24 weeks a state level medical board will decide if it can be permitted in case of substantial fetal abnormalities only the board will consist of a gynecologist a pediatrician a radiologist or sonographer and any other member as notified by state government only doctors with specialization in gynecology or obstetrics can perform the abortion according to the act the name of a uh, other uh, particulars of a woman whose pregnancy has been terminated shall not be revealed so this is the new thing that has been added that the secrecy or a breach of the women confidentiality women confidentiality should be secret and uh, on violation of this fine or in fined and or imprisonment up to 1 years can be given in cases where abortion are desired to terminate the pregnancy arise out of above mentioned causes where the gestation period exceed 24 weeks the only method to be a right petition right petition will be uh, given by the uh, uh, by the person who want the abortion so in brief if we uh, compare the mtp act 1971 and mtp amendment act 2021 indication are contraceptive failures if there is a contraceptive fail of in case of contraceptive failures in 1971 it applies to married women but here from husband it has been replaced with a partner so unmarried women can also be covered gestational age limit as i told earlier also that it is 20 weeks for all indication beyond 20 weeks it was not permitted but in amendment act if there is a contraceptive failure then the duration is only till 20 weeks and 20 to 24 weeks is the time limit for the special category of women as i told earlier also that the women's of rape survivor or the victims of incest or if there is a minor girl 
or differently abled girl or if anyone is having substantial fetal abnormalities the age uh, the uh, gestation age can be increased from 24 weeks for the substantial fetal abnormalities coming to the third point that is the rmp opinion that is a registered medical practitioner opinion so in mtp act 1971 only one registered medical practitioner advice is required till 12 weeks and two rmps are required for the abortion from 20 or uh, 12 weeks to 20 weeks but in amendment act only one rmp will take the will do their abortion till 20 weeks two rmps from 20 weeks to 24 weeks and a medical board as i told earlier also that a board will which will be consisting of a gynecologist a pediatrician a radiologist or sonographer and any other member as notified by the state government breach of women con confidentiality earlier it was fine up to rupees 1000 but now here it is fine and or imprisonment of one year every new thing every new act has some advantages and disadvantages so among the advantages it is a progressive act because it allows the women to do abortion after 20 weeks also so it will promote the safe and legal abortion instead of unsafe practice because previously if after 20 weeks if anyone is requiring abortion legally it is not allowed then she will go to the a local practitioner or a quack and it will land up in in a various complications another advantage uh, another advantage uh, like partner in case of husband previously it was said that only husband means only married women were allowed but now partner in place of husband so unmarried couples are also allowed or we can say uh, unmarried couples are also covered in this new act rape survivors incest or mentally challenged uh, uh, females can uh, uh, can uh, request for the abortion as the above mentioned criteria identity secret it is the most uh, advantage that uh, identity is kept as a secret and most of the anomalies are de they are detected at the gestation age of 18 to 20 week 22 weeks so previously it was only up to 20 weeks so by extending the gestational limit we can say that it is a progressive act disadvantages or fallacies as i noted that partner in place of husband so what we are doing is we are promoting the abortion in unmarried couples also which might not be good as such and chances of female feticide would be higher if we extend the limit or if we give the limit more as compared to previous one and because it it also covered the unmarried couples so if a, a woman is doing or a if a woman is undergoing the abortion that is a legal abortion we can say but in unmarried uh, age then after her marriage there will be infertility issues like we uh, like we know that there are the various Uh, complications like Asherman syndrome, so infertility issue after marriage would be there. Thanks. Thank you.